dear children now we are going to next topic generation of computers they have totally first generation second generation third generation fourth generation and fifth generation we can explain each generation first generation created in 1942 to 1955 then second generation 1955 to 1964 today we are explain about first generation and second generation here the first generation in 1942 to 1955 in first generation computer use vacuum tube vacuum tube means it look like a bulb second one in second generation of a computer 1955 to 1964 in second generation of computer transistor were used then third generation in third generation the computer in 1964 to 1975 in third generation the computer ics it means integrated circuit were used in place of vacuum tube and transistor in fourth generation 1975 to 1989 in fourth generation the computer the lsi it means large scale integration and vlsi it means very large scale integration technique were used it means microchip microprocessor chip and fifth generation we in 1989 present now still then this is a vacuum tube it look like a glass bulb the vacuum tube a large amount of power was required they were a large in size next one in the second generation we used transistor the transistor have three legs one first one emitter second one base and third one collector the transistor required less power and product less heat compare with vacuum tube in second generation computer the transistor were used in place of vacuum tube so have less current and less heat and size also very low next one in third generation we used integrated circuit in third generation 1964 to 1975 in third generation computers ic it means integrated circuit were used in place of vacuum tube and transistor the compare with first generation and second generation the third generation is very faster and it is very cheaper price compare with other two generation next one fourth generation the computer in 17 1975 again 1975 to 1989 in fourth generation the computers the la lsi it means large scale integration and vlsi very large scale integration technique were used next one the fifth generation <coughs> the fifth generation computer in 1989 present now it is working a fifth generation computer are under developed stage it is based on artificial intelligence example for robot 
the nano computer these are the example for the fifth generation now we are going to explain each one now in this class we are start, uh, just telling about the first generation and second generation the period of first generation the period of first generation was from 1942 to 1955 the computer of first generation used vacuum tube as the basic component of memory and circuiting for CPU. The full form of CPU is central processing unit. These tube like electric bulb produced a lot of heat and installation used to a few frequent lays. In first generation computer, the vacuum tube were used. These two produced a heat which creating a several problems. To protect other component from heat, special insulation tube were required. A large amount of power was required for these computer. They were large in size and require constant maintenance. The programming was done in machine language. These computer were extremely slow and solve just one problem at a time. These were their main advantages. For example for first generation ENIAC Edwork, Univoc, etc. The full form of ENIAC Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer, Edwork, Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer, Univoc, Universal automatic computer these are the main example for first generation second generation in the second generation computers transistor were used in place of vacuum tube they required less power and less heat compared with vacuum tube they were cheaper, smaller in size, and fast as compared with first generation. Pro programming was done in assembly language. First one, in the first generation, they are used machine language. In the second generation, we use assembly language which is better than the machine language. So, the second generation is better than first generation. Why? Because low heat and high speed, then less heat and cheaper price. So, compare with first generation, the second generation is better than first generation. Because low heat, cheaper price, small in size and faster than first generation. For example for the second generation NCR 304 IBM 7000. This, these are the example for second generation. The again one more time about first generation and second generation. The first generation computer 1942 to 1955. The first generation large size, high cost and more temperature and special insulation tube was required. A large amount of power was required. So the compare with the second generation 
the first generation is more expensive for example for the first generation eniac edwac univoc the full form of eniac is electronic numerical integrator and computer the edwac electronic discrete variable automatic computer univoc universal automatic computer these are the example for the first generation second generation 1955 to 1964 second generation in the second generation of computer replace the vacuum tube and create their new transistor it were less size less power less heat and high speed cheaper price and but in first generation we use machine language and second generation we use assembled language so it more high speed for example for the second generation ncr 304 and ibm 7000 etc